What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day, and on this channel I'll talk about cybersecurity. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of my goals for 2022 in regards to career, education, um, and also cybersecurity and cloud security, as those are going to be my main focus in 2022, and most uh, especially cloud security. So as you can see here, my goals are kind of divided into uh, four categories, so to do, doing, done and out of scope and i'm currently using this really simple template from notion that you can use to easily um arrange your goals for uh the new year or for whatever period of your life you find yourself in i can also arrange these goals by due date so i have grouped these goals into four quarters so first quarter second quarter third quarter and the fourth quarter of the year according to what i think i can achieve within those time periods all right so let's kind of go back to our original view so my status all right there we go so as you can see these years goals are pretty scanty i don't have too many listed up i might over time maybe add more goals but really i just have like simple focuses for this year and i think uh, these goals might have some kind of maybe real, uh, mini goals under them but i think uh these are some really um baseline goals that I think I, I really want to work on for next year and most of the goals are kind of um, based around the first six months of the year to be realistic because that's really how far I'm thinking ahead right now because I don't, I don't want to be too much ahead of myself but I also have goals that I know that I set for um, beyond that period of time but let's just get into uh, each of these goals and kind of understand uh, what I'm looking to achieving those different goals. So my main goal for 2022 is to transition into cloud security or cloud engineering. However, wherever I find myself, but I really want to transition into cloud security. So that's kind of what all of my various goals are kind of centered around. As you can see here, transition to cloud security. Um, these two AWS certifications are my main uh, certification goals. Um, also learning Python um, is also a major goal of mine. And then some cloud uh, projects, um, TCM, PM, PT certification, uh, content and my WGU cloud computing degree. Um, and I haven't really talked about this, but I, I've been working with my program mentor over the last couple of months to uh, change my program from the the WGU network operations and security to the cloud computing degree. And I'll be doing a video specifically for that uh, eventually when that happens. And then finally, uh, to pass the blue team level one, uh, my initial goal was to take the exam um, at the end of this year, 2021, uh, December, but I have decided to move that to January. So first quarter uh, or uh, not specifically January, but hopefully in the first quarter, I should be able to uh, achieve the certification. All right, so let's go and get into each of these um, uh, goals uh, individually. Um, obviously, this particular goal is to pretty much, it's pretty much obvious like what that means. So, and that's kind of what everything else is centered around. So uh, um, as you can see, the next one is passing the AWS uh, Solutions Architect. So um, this is um, one certification that I think will help me understand AWS uh, better. Uh, I really want to focus more uh, of my cloud efforts on AWS um, because I find it more interesting and also because they have like the largest market share. Maybe over time I might diversify and learn more about Azure, um, but definitely want to be focusing mo most of my energy on um, AWS. And also, I also want to pass the AWS SysOps Admin Certification, which is also part of my WGU Bachelor's Program, which I'll be looking at in a second. Um, I also want to participate in or not necessarily participate or just do my own 100 days of code in Python um, to learn Python and also do a bunch of Python projects because uh, I really want to learn Python because it's really important for um, cloud or cloud security or cloud engineering. And if you really want to progress in your uh, security career, understanding how to use Python, you know, to make pretty, you know, uh, basic tools or scripts or stuff or automation stuff is going to be really uh, beneficial and then um and uh, then actually let me actually go into these uh into this so for example uh i have it right here so create progress uh, update vlog or blog with every 10 day achievement and this is the course one of the courses i'll be using i'm going to be using multiple courses and i'll be going over my python journey uh, on the channel and doing various videos uh, to that effect 
but this is still kind of in development but this particular 100, 100 does of code course from udemy is going to be a huge part of that um of this project for me and i have my uh github profile here uh just so i can remember every time i look at i come into this um projects page into this um goal page and then the cloud resume challenge um i heard it's like one of the, the really really good challenges that you can or projects you can use to really learn um, about a particular cloud cloud provider that you're going to be using the challenge that you're going to be using for the challenge so my goal is to do this challenge um so i can really learn the various services um in aws and also do other cloud uh cloud related, related projects and cloud security related, related projects which i'll be coming up in and um actually i should go back and kind of look at the due dates for this one so the, the due dates for this one is uh the third quarter so i, I hope to have done 100 of 100 days of code between january and uh and the third quarter of the year um i'm not really looking to you know do 100 days straight um because i know like life is going to happen <laughs> for sure so I, as long as i'm able to complete 100 days within the the within uh this time period within january and the third quarter that would be sufficient for me also the same thing for this uh, third quarter is also my um, due date or like time frame that i would be willing wanting to complete this and this is not to say that i wouldn't be doing uh i wouldn't be working on other python projects or cloud projects beyond the third quarter it's just it's just i just want to have had this baseline 100 days of code and uh you know cloud resume challenge or a couple of cloud products uh by that uh, time uh, and then next is to, to pass the tcm uh, pnpt uh, certification which is a new um, offensive uh, security kind of certification from uh the cyber mentor um so i actually chose this one over the ejpt because um i feel like if it covered things that ejpt already covered um and more might as well just go for it so during the black friday sale i got myself a a voucher for the certification um and this i'll be looking to take this one in the fourth quarter um it's kind of when things are dying down and i have time to focus on this and the reason why i'm, I'm, I'm i want to take this, this certification is because i feel like I, i'm lacking in terms of like my knowledge and my skills from the offensive security perspective and i really want to be well-rounded and i really and i think the the course that uh, ccm security provides as well as the certification um i i believe it's going to be uh, uh sufficient for me in covering my basis for, uh, in terms of the offensive security uh, perspective uh, because most of my 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 skills and my certifications um are centered uh, more around uh, defensive security and i definitely want to um understand better how uh, attacks work or detection works um, from the offensive perspective as well and that's my kind of reasoning for the certification um and then uh content wise i have um just put it here uh, where I uh, I want to post at least one video per week. And I think this is pretty achievable. Um, most of the time when I film, film content, I usually film multiple videos at a time. So I could, you know, easily spread this out. So I have tons of video ideas, backlogs of video ideas that I definitely want to, to do um, and I'm working on. So I, I, I feel like I, I'm not going to run out of ideas. Um, and this list is definitely going to keep getting longer. But um, just to have this visible here, I'm still going to kind of refine this and kind of define it better um, and also really under, and re also really uh, uh, put some details for these different videos like scripts and stuff like that. Uh, but this, this is just like an overall goal for my content for YouTube. And then this is really m my biggest goal for uh, for next year, for 2022. Uh, my goal is to complete my bachelor's in cloud computing so like i said I'll, I'll be changing my major i've been working with my with my program mentor to change my major from network operations and security to cloud computing and like i said i'll be talking more about my reasons for doing that in another, another video once that has come through uh but um for this uh for me in order for me to complete this uh degree by the second quarter which will be uh, around the summer uh which is my goal I have to complete all of these classes. So um, obviously I'm currently doing the business of IT project management class, which is a certification and come to your project plus uh, certification. Uh, so this is some progress. So um, in order for me to, uh, you know, successfully complete this degree by the summer, uh, I have to complete all of these classes. So I kind of sorted this classes uh, by, um, I guess, difficulty level and kind of progression level. 
according to how I want to do these classes. Um, I think, um, and also based off of a list I, I was I, I found online on Reddit about this one guy who finished the degree, and this is like kind of his advice on how to uh, complete the degrees. So I kind of, uh, I kind of, you know, I put the names and a brief summary about the degree about the about the class um like the course unit as well as like what what, what kind of um assessment uh, is required for the course so as you can see here this is uh, this requires a certification which is the CompTIA project plus which i'm hoping to finish before the end of this year hopefully hopefully i'm definitely going to be working towards finishing it before the end of this year and then so like for example this class is a medium project so this class is going to require me to create some powershell scripts for a project uh this is this is like a medium project as well. This is going to require me to create some virtual machines. Uh, this one is a large project, so it's going to be like an entire data center setup. Uh, this is a certification, so I'm going to have to take the EC Council Certified Encryption Specialist. And then this class is um, Introduction to Programming in Python. So I have to take an assessment based off, based off of uh, Python programming. Uh, this class is going to be a certification for the CompTIA Cloud Plus. Uh, this is Software Engineering, which is going to be a small project uh, for creating a proposal for a software solution if i could spell proposal properly and then automation and scaling tools this is going to be about learning vagrant and chef which are automation tools and this is going to require me to do a medium project uh for the class and then here we have cloud uh, platform solutions so this is going to be a, an assessment and this class is based on uh azure administration and using the powershell cli for performing administrative tasks in azure and i th think i think i heard it's gonna it's a little bit uh a little bit of the classes based off of the azure uh admin certification i think so i might or might not just kill two birds with one stone and just go ahead and take the azure admin certification if there is enough time and then this class is uh cloud deployments and operations which is a certification and it's going to be the aws systems admin certification which is obviously one of my major goals for the year already and then what else we have we have uh, cloud architecture which is going to be a medium project uh, requiring me to write a paper about cloud solutions and then my capstone which is going to uh, require a final written capstone project which is kind of a medium project based on what i've heard about it as you can see all of these have not been started but um by god's grace i'm looking to complete these all of these classes by the summer of next of next year of 2022 and uh, graduate, graduating with my bachelor's in cloud computing. So this is the biggest goal I have next year, which is kind of why I guess I don't have that many other goals uh, because that's really the, the the huge chunk of my entire, the entirety of like the first half of the year. Um, and then uh, of course, uh, my bulletin level one. So I've been working on this uh, certification since I believe sometime around late uh, October. Was it late October or late November? late october um and um, i've learned a lot so my goal is uh, my goal wasn't it was to was to probably finish it by december but that's not realistic anymore so I, I think sometime in the first quarter or maybe just january would be a good time to take the certification because i'll be better ready so if i was to group this back by the due dates um so as you can see i have these two goals are for the first quarter i'm really confident that this is going to be possible by january um hopefully this one is going to be between january and uh, march i know that i can definitely get this done within that time period and then um this is going to be um i hope to get this done uh, by the second quarter which is going to be like mid-year as well as uh, this which is going to be which is kind of nested with with this which because this is pretty much part of this program and then uh, quarter three is you know a lot more but um, obviously I would have been working towards these two goals from the start of the year. So I'll be working towards, you know, uh, different cloud projects uh, from start of the year. I'll be working towards uh, learning Python from start of the year. I'm also gonna be learning Python in my degree program. So all of these kind of work together and then transitioning to cloud security is also like, it's also like a, a cumulative of all of these other goals together because like my, my purpose for all of these things are to get a really fundamental knowledge of uh, cloud and clouds and, and cloud security at the same time so i feel like my background from from security operations combining with like my certifications and skills and then combining them with you know, with my knowledge of cloud and then you know more cloud knowledge and everything like that is going to give me a really strong foundation for my um uh, my transition into cloud security um, and then of course uh, trying to definitely cover my bases from uh, understanding the offensive uh, security perspective um, how you know the mindset of an attacker works so that's my goal with the PMPT so like I said it, my goals for this year are not that many um, and obviously these are generally centered around 
um like uh around like career and uh, education i definitely i definitely have you know financial goals like physical goals uh, life goals and all of that um but uh for me like these are like uh the most like uh, par paramount goals to me and um I'll, I'll be adding more uh to it over time as i've uh, come up with new things but i definitely want to keep this as simple as possible and not over complicated um but um yeah these are my goals for my cybersecurity and cloud security goals for 2022 um, i hope you were maybe able to take something out of this um in order to plan for your new year uh, if you're trying to get into cybersecurity or maybe cloud security um and um i will be coming back to this board um from time to time to kind of you know uh go over these goals and look at um, what i'm working on and just kind of uh uh arranging these by uh the status so but as you can see, I'm currently doing these ones and um, as I'm doing them, you know, as, I, as I'm completing them, I'm going to be moving them over to the done section. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to come back by the end of this year and have all of these goals in the done section. And um, I, I look forward to that uh, so much. But yeah, that, that's my uh, cybersecurity goals um, for 2022. Um, and I this um, this particular uh, template is free on on Notion. So definitely download the Notion app. Um, it's, it's really, really good, good, great tool. I've been learning a lot more about it because it's, it's really great for organizing your thoughts and your goals and your studying and all that stuff. It's a really, really, really great uh, productivity tool. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, definitely download it. It's a free template from notion so definitely check it out um and use it for your plan and everything um if you need any help with it um you can join my discord uh channel um meet my discord community the link will be in the description um and i can help you out um in, in the discord server please uh make sure you send your messages in the discord server uh but yeah that's that's it for today's video um and uh i hope this video is valuable to someone out there and um yeah i, I once again i look forward to coming back uh, by the end of next year and and, and having all of these goals in the done section all right once again thank you for very much for watching this video i will see you in the next video bye bye